When used together, Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard and Windows 7 Professional provide a range of tools and technologies that help you get more done, safeguard your work, and gain more IT control and flexibility in your environment. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can protect the business critical data in your environment using the backup and restore features in Windows 7 and SBS 2011. One of the key business challenges for small businesses today is to ensure that all of their data is properly backed up and that it can be easily restored. In the past, the most common backup technology was tape backup, but there are a number of issues and challenges around this method. Because the tape capacity is generally much smaller than the hard disk based data that you're trying to protect, it's necessary to rotate the tapes every day and forgetting to do so can cause the backup to fail. There are also concerns around making sure that all the data is actually being backed up. Are there any glitches with the tape? Or are maybe some files not actually being stored on the server? And how can we deal with these issues? Additionally, tape-based backup can take a very long time. So backups that were started the previous evening may still be running when employees come in and try to use the server. And this can seriously degrade the server's performance and negatively impact the user's productivity. But probably more important than these backup challenges are the challenges around actually restoring data if you do lose a file. Very often we find that in small business environments, test restores aren't done periodically just to verify that the tapes are working correctly. It's not a very easy process, and it certainly isn't any quicker than actually backing up the data in the first place. In fact, we often find that if some data is lost, it's easier for the end users to recreate it from scratch than it is to go through the process of restoring data from a tape. There are also limitations on the client computers and their ability to protect their own data. We need a better method for backing up and restoring data than we can find in the older operating systems like Windows XP. To protect against common scenarios like lost or stolen laptops or simply wrongly deleted or overwritten files. So let's take a look at how Windows 7 Professional and Windows Small Business Server 2011 work better together to solve some of these common scenarios. Windows SBS 2011 leverages the new backup technology that was introduced with Windows Server 2008 to replace tapes with hard disk based backup. Backup destinations are now most commonly external hard drives, but can also be network locations. And when the backup runs, it creates a complete system image automatically, but you can still restore individual files and folders. It also knows about key applications such as Exchange and SharePoint and backs up their data appropriately so that you can restore it at a later date. In addition, because disk-based backup is so much quicker and has a lower impact on the server's overall performance, you have the ability to perform regular backups as often as required to meet your business goals, which can happen multiple times throughout the day. Each hard drive that's used as a backup destination contains all the data necessary to restore the server to a given date and time. The first time a backup destination is used, all the blocks from the server get copied to the destination, but for subsequent backups, only the changed blocks need to be copied over. This gives you the benefits of an incremental style of backup to improve the speed and performance but also provides the benefit of a traditional full backup in terms of being able to very easily restore all the data for a given date and time. Windows Server Backup also supports multiple backup destinations, so you can choose to rotate these external hard drives off-site to gain an even greater level of data protection. And each backup destination contains a complete backup image of the server up to the last date and time that it was used for backup. On the Windows 7 Professional Client, backups work in a similar way. You can create a full system image as a virtual hard drive, and you can also create zip archives of the files and folders, and the backups can be stored on the Windows SBS 2011 server. This makes it very easy to recover files and folders for that PC and even do a full system restore. And in the SBS environment, you can leverage group policy to enforce backup rules across the SBS domain, giving you very consistent data protection throughout your environment. Restoring data has also become much quicker and much easier to do, allowing you to recover individual files and folders, or entire volumes, or even specific applications. And in the event of a catastrophic failure, you can choose the Repair Your Computer option when you boot from the installation media and do a bare metal restore to a brand new hard drive or even to a new server. 
and the offline files feature of Windows 7 Professional encourages users to always store their information on the server because they can create with the Sync Center locally cached copies of any server folders. This lets them work offline in the case of laptops that may not always be in the office, but when they return to the network, their data is automatically synchronized back to the server. And finally, it's very easy for end users to recover from accidentally deleted or overwritten files by using the previous versions feature that's available right within Windows Explorer. And this works exactly the same way for files that are stored on the Windows SPS 2011 server as well as the Windows 7 professional client computers. So now let's take a look at using these features in action. Setting up data protection for your files is quick and easy using the Configure Server Backup Wizard in the Backup and Server Storage tab in the SPS 2011 Administrative Console. Simply choose the backup destination that you want, provide an appropriate label so that it's easy to perform restores later, select the drives that you wish to backup. You can exclude drives if you store data on them that you don't need to include in your server backup plan. Select a backup schedule which you can customize to run as often throughout the day as meets your business goals, and confirm your settings. You now have automatic daily backups of all the critical information that's stored on your SPS server. And recovering your data is just as easy. We can launch the Restore Server Data Wizard right from the same administration console. Here we'll begin the Recover Data Wizard. Select our server, choose a date and time that we want to restore our information from, Select from among the system state, applications, volumes, or individual files and folders to recover. Select the desired information. Choose where we want to store our recovered files, whether we want to return them to the original location, create copies so that we have both the new and the old versions, and how to handle security settings. Simply confirm your choices and the data comes back quickly and easily and protecting your Windows 7 Professional desktop computers is just as easy. From the control panel, we'll go into the backup and restore settings and go ahead and change our settings. From here, we can choose to save our information to a network. We've set up a dedicated shared folder on our SBS 2011 server to store our PC backups. We just need to provide our normal credentials in order to store our backup data on the server. Next, we select what we'd like to backup. By default, Windows will back up all the necessary information to recover the PC. We can even change the schedule, whether we want to do it on demand or whether we want to automate it. Backups can be run on a weekly, daily, or monthly basis. And that's all there is to it. Restoring files is also a very easy process. We can select the date that we want to recover our data from, browse from among the available folders in that backup set, Again, we can choose whether we want to store the documents in the original location or in a new location. And we're prompted for whether or not we want to copy and replace the files, skip this particular file, or copy the files but keep both the old and new version. And we can do this for all conflicts. So it's a pretty simple matter to restore information from our backups. But there can be an even easier way using Windows Explorer. If we go to our Documents folder, we can select the properties for one of our files and folders and choose the Previous Versions tab. Here we can see a number of previous versions that we can restore to. Simply confirm your choices and the data is returned to its previous state. To learn more about the Better Together features of Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard and Windows 7 Professional, visit our product homepage, join our Facebook community, and find a partner on Microsoft's Pinpoint site.